This video is brought to you by Squarespace. We're out on this beautiful fall afternoon with Joelle. Hello. If you guys don't remember Joelle, we shot with her recently in our Five Steps to Plan a photo shoot video. I'll have that linked up here. But today, we're shooting with the iPhone 12 Pro. I'm so excited about that and the A7S III. And we're gonna compare the photos, because... Because why not? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> On the iPhone 12 Pro, you have three separate lenses. There's the normal lens, which Apple calls a wide lens, which sits around 26 millimeters. There's a telephoto lens, which has a 52 millimeter focal length equivalent. And finally, there's my favorite, the super wide lens, which has an equivalent focal length of 13 millimeters. I'm going to shoot with each of these lenses on the iPhone and compare them with photos taken on an equivalent lens on the Sony a7S III. First up, I'll shoot with my 35mm f1.4 prime lens on my Sony and compare that to the normal lens on the iPhone. The Sony 35mm f1.4 prime lens is one of my favorite pieces of glass because it offers an incredibly sharp image, an even perspective, while also being able to soften the background. As you can see in these example images, Joelle is sharp in the foreground, while behind her we're getting beautiful bokeh. This is an advantage of shooting with, well, an actual camera. The wide lens on the iPhone 12 Pro clocks in at around a 26 millimeter focal length. So to make this a fair comparison, I'm going to zoom in just a bit with the iPhone to make it more in line with the 35 millimeter lens on the Sony. Here are some example images taken with the iPhone. As you can see, the image is quite sharp all around, but the iPhone doesn't quite blur out the leaves like it does on the Sony a7S III. The iPhone still produces an incredible image, but the Sony a7S III just has that little extra oomph. So something really interesting that I just noticed with the iPhone 12 Pro is that when you select either 0.5 times or one times or two times zoom on the phone, if you press and hold on that button, it'll tell you the focal length that you're at. So 0.5 times is 13 millimeters, one times is 26 millimeters, and two times is 52 millimeters. So I'm trying to mimic a 35 millimeter look right now. So I'm just going to place this just between the one and the two times zoom. Next up, we're going to shoot with my Sony 50mm f1.4 and compare that to the iPhone 12 Pro's telephoto lens at 52mm. For this set of images, I wanted to choose a backdrop that was a bit further away from Joelle, so that we could see how these two cameras compress the foreground and the background. With my Sony, the background is completely blurred out, and I achieve a beautiful compression on Joelle's profile, which gives this photo a very serene feeling. The iPhone achieves the same level of compression, but we don't quite get as much bokeh. Of course, we are comparing a phone sensor's capabilities to that of a lens that costs twice as much as the iPhone, but it's still pretty neat to see how good of a result you can achieve in such a compact, everyday form factor. So what we're trying to do right now is take a comparative photo that we just took with the A7S III on now the iPhone 12 Pro. And what I'm noticing is Joelle is a little bit in the shadow on this side, but overall, like it's a pretty overcast day. There is more light behind her, I won't lie about that. And I'm noticing that the iPhone 12 Pro is having kind of a hard time getting her in focus from that low angle. I'm not really sure why, whether it's something just with my particular phone or whether it's something to do with the LiDAR scan but if I take a similar photo facing the other direction, I no longer have that issue anymore. So just something I'm observing. Finally, we're going to test my favorite feature on the iPhone, which is the super wide angle lens against the Sony 12 to 24 millimeter G Master lens. You enjoying this video? Cool. Couple things I'm gonna ask you to do then. One, maybe subscribe to my channel. Uh, two, listen to me talk about Squarespace for a minute. Thanks. I used Squarespace to make my website. I legitimately did, even before they paid me to do this ad. The template I chose was clean and stylish, and I literally built it myself. I really struggle with design, but Squarespace made it super easy for me to showcase my portfolio beautifully. The platform is super easy for me to customize, update regularly, and I can get analytics about the purchases made on my digital products through my online store. And I run my own business, so I don't have time to learn a whole new platform. All right, so head over to Squarespace for a free trial, and when you're 
you're ready to launch, you can use this code right here to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Squarespace. Now back to the video. For my professional work, I rarely shoot all the way at 12 millimeters unless it's for real estate or another scenario that requires a very dramatic and exaggerated look. That being said, I love using the super wide lens on the iPhone for everyday content as it provides an easy way to get everything in the frame. It also gives me that vlog style look for Instagram stories. One thing I will say about the video capabilities is we tested the video stabilization and it's pretty impressive. This is straight out of the phone. I'm walking normally and with no gimbal. For portraits, I wanted to take some photos of Joelle that really emphasize the effect of such a wide lens. As you can see in these examples, just by standing a few feet away from her, I keep so much of the environment in the frame. Because this G Master lens has a maximum aperture of f4, these examples are the ones that look the closest to the iPhone. Both photos have a very high fashion look. With the iPhone photos, one of the only major differences is that it's less sharp and doesn't have as good dynamic range, but the super wide effect is almost identical. So that's it guys, today is Tuesday, which means it's wing night at my favorite wing place, which is very important to me. <laughs> so I have to go. Okay, bye. <laughs> like, subscribe, hit the bell. <laughs>